Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Patches. Welcome back to my booktube. So I was discussing amongst myself what else I can do for the channel and I really have been wanting to do a book vlog and I thought what better way to do it than with my book of the month subscription. I just got home. It was here. I was so excited. Also, I just opened it. Love my bookmark. All booked up right now. <laughs> So this is February 2020's selection. This was such an easy pick for me. This one ultimately stood out to me the most because of its description. So I picked The Holdout by Graham Moore. I really don't know a whole lot about this except for this little uh, byline, I guess, right here. One juror changed the verdict. What if she was wrong? So it kind of reminds me almost of like a 12 angry men situation. <laughs> I'm very curious. But what got my attention, the little bio about this book, and it says, for the serial fans, an infamous jury is stuck with another murky murder 10 years after the controversial verdict. So it says it's a slow build. It's a whodunit. It's a non-linear timeline with an unlikable narrator. Cool. I'm cool with all that. But Serial, if you don't know, I'm assuming they're talking about the podcast. <laughs> Serial is a podcast that everyone who is obsessed with true crime needs to listen to. It's phenomenally made and it'll piss you off. You know, is this anything like it? Who knows? But I'm excited to get into this. So I wanted to do a book vlog of my book of the month selection. Typically I pick two books, but last month in January, I was only able to finish one book. And so I kind of learned from my mistakes and just held back. So this is just one. I am currently reading The Whisper Man by Alex North and I'm almost done with it. So I'm gonna finish that up really quick tonight because um, I have to read it for a book club. I will be using my cell phone from here on out to kind of discuss like every other couple chapters or so, maybe the other five chapters I'll check in and um, let you guys know. It doesn't seem like a hefty read. 300, okay, this is only 319 pages. It's not that large. So I probably will be able to finish it this weekend. I'm very excited to get into it though. So yeah, I don't know anything else by this author. Who are you? Oh my God, you're a young dude. Graham Moore is the best-selling author of The Last Days of Night and The Sherlockian. Did I say that right? The Last Days of Night and The Sherlockian and The Academy. Oh! In the Academy Award winning screenwriter of The Imitation Game, which also won a Writer's Guild of America Award for Best Adapted Screenplay and was nominated for a BAFTA and a Golden Globe. He was born in Chicago with a BA in Religious History? Relatable. Wow. The Imitation Game. And I feel like I watched, did I watch that? Okay, so let's read this little description together. It's the most sensational case of the decade. 15-year-old Jessica Silver, heiress to a billion-dollar real estate fortune, vanishes on her way home from school, and her teacher, Bobby Knock, is the prime suspect. The, su the subsequent trial taps straight into America's most pressing preoccupations, race, sex, class, law enforcement, and the lurid sins of the rich and famous. It's an open and shut case for the prosecution, and a quick convention seems all but guaranteed. And to my until Maya Seal, a young woman on the jury, convinced of Knox's innocence, persuades the rest of the jurors to return the verdict of not guilty, a controversial decision that will change their lives, change all their lives forever. Flash forward 10 years, a true crime docu-series re- <laughs> That's funny. A true crime docu-series reassembles a jury with particular focus on Maya, now a defense attorney herself. Ooh, that's cool. When one of the jurors is found dead in Maya's hotel room, all evidence points to her as the killer. Now she must prove her own innocence by getting to the bottom of a case that is far from closed. As the present day murder investigation weaves together with the story of what really happened during their deliberation, told by each of the jurors in turn, the secrets they have been keeping threaten to come out with drastic consequences for all involved. Yeah, I'm probably gonna love this. Let's finish up my other book and then let's get started with this one.
Hello. So it's laundry day. I have started that much. <laughs> Some of the writing is a little on the nose. I'm gonna do this while I talk. Yeah, I noticed that some of the writing is just like a little on the nose and I don't know if that's, I'm worried that that's because I read what the book's about and immediately my mind's like already thinking, duh, you know, but see, that's why I really don't like looking into books too much like before I read them because it's like now I know what to expect and I have like an expectation of like what this is going to be about. I am enjoying it though. It is definitely a book that is like 100% up my alley. It's, it's, you know, about crime. It's about murder. It's, you know, it's really a book that I enjoy. It's really a story that I enjoy in any form really, whether it's, you know, oh, I gotta go get those pants. Whether it's a podcast, whether it's, you know, something else. This is like a story that I tend to gravitate to. I do think I'm gonna finish it today because I've barely read anything. I've been eating, I've been cleaning, I've been doing a million other things. So it's just a Saturday and um, we'll see, we shall see. Cause I definitely wanna move on to some of the other books that I've received. Not that I'm trying to rush through it. It's just, I've bought a lot of books lately and I really wanna get to like all of them and make sure I'm reading all my buddy reads and doing everything that I wanna do. Okay, I have tried to film this little blip like three times now. Um, I just keep getting mixed up in my own words. Um, I'm also like sitting on the floor <laughs> in the corner because it's good lighting. Um, I just have a lot of thoughts about this, but I feel like it's too early to be making those thoughts but I do feel like it's important. Um, I have read this much. I'm not even halfway through. I'm about a page 120 or something like that, maybe less. Um, I'm uh, about at chapter eight. Um, I'm realizing that I love this type of story, right? This, you know, murder trials, um, you know, people being acquitted, stories about the jurors, you know, the, the, all that I love. This is the first time I think I've read a book form of that. This is the first time that I've read it in this sort of medium. I don't know if I like it. I, I, I like to watch docu-series with crime scene photos and evidence and what the people look like and that time in history and just like it's more of like a visual thing for me. I don't think it's, I think it's too early for me to say if I would recommend this. I think it's way too early for me to say if I'm enjoying it, but I can say that I have some feelings and I still feel like it's way too early for me to be saying this, but I'm just gonna say it. Um, I'm sensing a lot of privilege in this book about a woman who knows the system, she works in the system, and she's now being accused of something and treated like a suspect, but I mean, she knows how to get herself out of it. And it's kind of, and it's not to say that she didn't do it, it's not to say that she did do it, it's just, I guess it's just kind of frustrating that, that I don't really want to read about this white woman who is put in a sticky situation and it's almost like a history repeating itself thing where it's like a woman was the one on a jury 12 people this woman maya was the only one to say that a black man who was on trial for murder was not guilty she was the only one and she somehow convinced like 10 of the other people to also say not guilty and the last person finally just said you know screw it i'll say not guilty as well so we can go home <laughs> and now like 10 years later she's being accused of murder for one of the jurors and it's like i'm i almost don't care <laughs> i want a story because i'm thinking about the what it's like um referring to so they they said this is for serial fans which is true if you are a fan of serial you'll probably like this i do want to recommend this to my friends who like serial just so maybe I'm not alone in this. Serial the podcast though is about a Muslim man who was accused of killing, I believe his Korean girlfriend. Um, 
and he's in jail for like the rest of his life because of it and it's almost like that story got flipped and he got like it's almost like okay well see i don't know how to explain this but it's basically just I, I care more about the trial the first trial where she found him which we see like it goes back and forth and it's pretty lengthy chapters of like 2009 and now 2019 in 2009 this is the trial where he was acquitted for the murder trial or he was acquitted for murder but now we're in present day where she's being accused of a murder as well but it's almost like i don't care about the present day stuff i want to know about the murder trial that happened to this guy and i'm sure maybe it'll all make sense in the rest of these 200 pages or whatever but it's just like right now i'm like i want to know more about 2009 like i want to know more about what happened then in the relationship of the jurors because like some stuff happens where their names get leaked and they um it's it i mean jurors are known as like their juror numbers like i'm 272 i'm i'm 148 or whatever but I just, I almost, I want to, I'm, I'm going to keep reading. I feel like I'm being too harsh on it too soon. Because right now I don't think she did it. I think she's just in a shitty situation where she looks really guilty. But it's just like, she knows how to play her cards. Which is fascinating, but also fucked up. <laughs> because people don't get the chance to do that, you know? I just ordered some food. I'm going to start making dinner. Actually, I actually ordered groceries. Um, I'm going to start making dinner. I just finished laundry. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this today. I'm going to try, though. I really am going to try. Um, but yeah, those are my 100-page thoughts <laughs> so far. I will continue to keep you updated. I do want to finish this today because I'm like, these thoughts are fresh, and I want to keep going with these thoughts. Anyway, okay, I'll be right back. So it's pouring. Literally all my plans today are not going to plan. Okay, well, in good news, I just picked up my vegan chicken nugs. These are so good. They're from Plant Power Fast Food. In, uh, they have a location in Long Beach, but I think they're all over the place. But um, it's supposed to be like the first fast food chain to uh, replicate McDonald's. And it kind of does. They have like these little nuggets. And they're so good, they taste just like it. Even my non-vegan friends say so. My plan to stay in Burbank all day, to avoid people and the Oscars, is gonna flip and I'm just gonna go home and finish the book. I'm gonna stop and get a coffee on the way. I hate the cold, I hate the rain. Southern California, fortunately, is only like this a fraction of the year, but I'm really not looking forward to driving home with that tarp and the rain. I think I have food in my teeth the whole time I've been talking. I hate when it's raining and you showered and then you're like, what's the point? Now I feel gross again. Now I want to go shower again. It's been a day already and it's not even one o'clock. Okay, so I kind of finished this. I technically DNF'd it. About two thirds of the way through, I was just so frustrated and bored and just didn't care. So I kind of skimmed through the last couple chapters. I do know what happens. I do know the twist but I really didn't like this book, which is so unfortunate because I hate coming on here to like advertise, I guess, a book, even though I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I just, I, I, I hate like, I hate not liking something, I guess, is my thing. And it's frustrating that this is like my second video of all time. And I didn't like what I was reading and I want, I don't want to like, <laughs> I just, I don't want to project that negative energy, if you will. Um, I have a lot of problems with this book, and it's definitely something that would be 100% something I'd be into, but it just wasn't for me. It um, 
has like a 4.0 average on Goodreads, which is pretty good. Um, there are some one stars and two stars. I'm gonna give this one two stars because some parts of it were really good. Some parts of it were just so bad that it made me angry, which is another um, thing that someone on Goodreads said. Another review on Goodreads said a very similar thing. Like it, it said something like, this was so bad it made me angry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, same. I absolutely, not to get too spoilery, I absolutely loved the parts of the initial trial. I think that was the best part about this, but everything leading up to that and the current day situations was just not working for me. Um, I might revisit this at some point. I also worry that like, because of the very rough well, that's, I feel like that's a rough excuse. Like, I feel like if I have a book that I didn't like, that I swore that I would, I have to have an excuse as to why I didn't like it. And um, I feel like I can blame so many things that's happening in life right now. And I can, you know, just complain about this, complain about that. But at the same time, I'm also reading a couple other books and I'm absolutely loving this one. Also a murder mystery. I think it's just, I didn't like the book and I gotta stop feeling so sorry about that i guess i can't like really down myself for that um but i, I guess that's the right phrasing for it but um yeah unfortunately i just didn't like it and um i can't wait to do another one of these uh like i was mentioning though i did start the tenant by i believe her name is katrin inberg um this was um, this was, I believe, written in 2016, but translated in 2020, so this just came out. This has been great so far, so I will hopefully be able to finish this soon. But yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts if you read this as well. Um, I'm going to continue checking out Goodreads and just kind of seeing what other people are saying. Um, but yeah, for me, this was two stars, unfortunately. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I will definitely be doing this again, and maybe not just for book of the month, but I think that's a really good way to start and making sure it's it's actually happening. Yeah, if you check the description down below, I was in a video recently with my friend Emily on the Spice Bookshelf. We did a buddy reads on Ninth House by Leah Bardugo, and that is up over there, our thoughts and feels about that. With Emily, I'm actually gonna be, for our backlist book club, I'm actually gonna be reading Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter, finally. And um, I'm working on some other books. I'm reading The Tenant, like I mentioned. I picked up some other goodies that were on sale. I'm also reading The Wives for a book club um, by the, at the end of this month. Um, I picked this up at Target because as you can see it was on sale, All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. And then also I picked up CJ Tudor's book, uh, The Other People, um, Alex Michaelitis, who wrote The Silent Patient, which is one of my favorite books, wrote a blurb on Goodreads about how much he loved this. I personally have not read The Chalk Man. For some reason, I was getting that confused with another book, The Something Man, that starts with the C. I was getting that confused with it, but I am gonna start reading this soon. I also bought The Passengers by John uh, Mars that I definitely wanna get into. And then last but not least, somebody at a book club recommended this to me and I'm so excited about it. And I couldn't find it, so I just had to order it on Amazon. Um, if you tell by Greg Olson um, about uh, these three sisters and their mom's a serial killer or something along those lines. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my Instagram at Patches Paper Cut to see more in-depth, I guess, reviews for some of the other stuff that I've read. I just finished up The Whisper Man. Yeah, more coming this month. I'm very excited to continue reading and start some of these other goodies that I just picked up and also Pretty Girls. I'm excited to start with this. And oh my god, this has been so good so far. Like I can't stop talking about it. Like it already has five stars for me and I'm not even on the hundredth page. Like it's written so well, so well. Okay, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys later. Bye.